In this video, we're going to talk about how we can implement label mode in basketball. Now basketball is a very fast sport, so coding all the labels that you want live, or even after the fact on your first pass, is extremely difficult. With label mode, we can be really efficient by adding those labels on a second pass after the fact. So here I've got a label window, I've got shot type, the shot quality, the shot location, and then I also have some play calls over here as well. Here I've already got a coded game, and I want to add my own labels to this game that's already been coded and already has those instances in the timeline. So I'm going to select label mode, which is this button here in the middle. I'm going to then go to my position row, highlight all the clips, and then press tab. And it's going to go to that first clip, and it's not going to go to the next clip until I press tab to go to the next clip. I can keep clicking tab to go through these uh, through these instances on the timeline or press shift tab to go backwards. So it's going to keep replaying this clip and in this time I have all the time to then add the labels that I want to add. So we could say that this is play one and then this shot was a drive that was contested at the rim. I can then click tab to go to the next clip. I can then watch this clip and let's say this was play two. I can then watch the video and I have more time to insert what I want to insert. So this was a catch and shoot three that was contested from the middle part of the three point line. This was a catch and shoot three that was uncontested on the middle three and that was on a transition play. I can click tab to go up a couple of clips. We can say that this is a play call three. Watch this clip further. This was a roll man that was uncontested and the shot was made at the basket. So I can go through all my clips and make these labels much more efficiently and with much more time than I would if I was doing it live. Afterward, I can then go into my sorter, for example, and see all these different labels that I've added. I can see I've got my play call labels here, my shot location, my shot quality, my shot type, and also some of my transition plays that I added as well. So I have a far larger data set that I can use, then use to analyze in output windows, or after I've coded enough games, using the find window to drag out very specific moments in games, such as play call one, where shots were at the rim from drives that resulted in a made shot. Now that I have those labels in this clip, I can find those very specific moments through the find window or through output windows. So that's how I would implement label mode in basketball. Hopefully that was helpful and thank you for watching.